Which gun game? Uh, Twin Skeet Shoot. Oh. I didn't know it was there last year. It was there last year. Really? Yeah. Didn't get much love at all. Is that drunk? Ah, well, most of us were. It's a little, like, uh, it's a generational. Yeah, it really is. We have an older comment. There are people that need to remember those games. And pop. Um, yeah. This crowd is probably the Twin Skeet Yeah, they, they will. They're gonna, they are going to know that's on the plan. What's up? Uh, so, uh, no, oh, they've got Slave Porter. Uh, mini, mini Display Porter, Mini HDMI, like, or this visual signal, so they might put, I don't want to make it. No, I know, I just, I, we can, I, like, we have, we have options, but it has to be, like, VGA, DVI, or Well, I mean, that's pretty much all the options. Challenge is playing. Oh, yeah, it's Mini HDMI. That's, that's good, yeah. 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 No, I mean, I can get those adapters, for, like, $6 a pop. Yeah. If yeah. let's sell it to VGA. Uh, yeah, I'll roll with it for now. And then, uh, the, you know, the you know, uh, uh, problem, you don't want to be there to do the, uh, are you going to get, depending on what display is being used, again, then, uh, we also have our speakers. Hey, Dallas! Oh, I can hear you. Yeah, good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe we can take them out of our video. Take the outside down. There we go. Okay, you think you're good. Guys, games, and beer. Yeah. 
I just clicked on one of the links that popped up in my messages. <laughs> I'm sorry. So everything's good though, right? Yeah, yeah. I look great on Facebook. I'll check you right now. We're talking and like talking right over. Hi all! It's the pre-roll! <laughs> I'm talking over it! I'm an expert. Give me another gin tonic. Hey, it looks like we're live on uh, YouTube. All right. We good? We good. All right. Oh, Centipede is last week. Oh, we are on Centipede. Never mind. That's the game that's on the screen. Yeah, Black Widow's last week. They look a lot They look a lot They do. Oh, seriously. Yeah, they do look a lot I got. There's, I'm waiting for Yara's Revenge to come out. So we'll be. They they will generally release it on the Atari VCS before they release it elsewhere. But they warn you that they're gonna do it. It's just gonna show up. Okay. Randomly. Is it gonna say they don't have like some other page like comics? I think it's because they only have three fucking employees. I think that is probably part of it. They probably have one. But they they don't have a lot of employees. I think that's that's a problem with every yeah. IT department really isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, whoa, shit, let's do this. Let's do this! Live from the 6 to 4 basement of the Guys Games and Beer Towers! It's a podcast. Podca it's not really a podcast, is it? It's a show It's a show that dated your mom back in high school. <laughs> it's Guys Games and Beer! Yeah! yeah we might have. Just good for us, We might have. We're here. We got beer. Huh? So we're here. We got beer. That's true. That's a that's a good chant, actually. Let me get myself in, out of studio. We got like a two AM cable cable access. Anyway, yeah, yeah. That, that's the vibe. Wait, that I think that is really the vibe I've been going for. Although, because yeah. so, sound wise, uh, sound wise, I really do like the. Uh, I'm at a really shitty show, and this is the announcer. Sound. And I almost I almost have kicked this to the curb a couple times for sounding too good. It really just pisses me off. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. We should go back to that like five dollar one that I found in a rummage sale. That's way better. That than was that show. that was all all quality yeah, and all class. Damn Yeti. Anyway, hey, the rich smooth sounds of guys, games, and beer is back, folks. Ah, uh, you know if you're joining us. Welcome to episode number 978,323. Ten years of this. This is celebrating ten years of beer. Uh, if you recall, at least uh, eight years ago, we were an up-and-coming uh, show. Yes. And, uh, and now we're just a failed show. That's right. We squandered the we, fuck out of that. We really kind of scraped the bottom. We just kind of thunk, 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 hit yeah. the bottom <laughs> over and over again. Can we just redo the numbering like, like Windows was supposed to do and just say 22.01 or... 50 years from now, so like, some college kid uh, working for NPR is going to uncover this and, and talk about this show that nobody watched. That's right. Call it a one credit college class. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm working for NPR. I yeah, said, exactly. Like, why didn't they quit? Why didn't they quit? It's with the, we're researching them all. They died in prison. <laughs> <laughs> one random kid ran his whole thesis on I got <laughs> guys gave their beer and what the hell is wrong with these people and what psychological issues cause them to stay on the air. Anyway. Anyway. Hey, if you're not alienated yet, welcome to the show. We'll work on uh, it. I suppose. Hey, hey Dallas. Yeah, what's up? How's it going? I just wanted to say hi to Dallas real quick. And uh before we get going, we're gonna go into we're gonna go into the the, the first segment of the show, which is of course Losers. Anyway, welcome to Beer Court. Man, I'm enjoying this. Hey, we got a nice... Yeah, well, you're enjoying it. Oh, sure, but we drank a gin and tonic. Yeah, that's true. It takes the edge off. Are you so, getting um, number three? So, uh... What's it? Yeah, what might be your third? This so answer? this is out of a, a brewery up in Door County. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Hacienda, the Hacienda Beer Company. My lab coordinator was up in uh, Door County this weekend, and after the week, few weeks we've been having, she thought I need more beer. 
She was That's right. She was yeah. right. It has been a rough so, week for So, thank you, Stacia. Everybody in IT, I think. Um, so, uh, let's see what we got here. Is there a description on here at all? Yeah. It just doesn't really make sense. Go ahead. It's just an India Pale Ale with Citra, Mosaic, Eld, and Eldorado hops. Where are you um, reading that from? By the warning label. Brewed and canned by Hacienda Beer Company, Bailey's Harbor, Wisconsin. Oh, shit. HaciendaBeerCo.com. At Hacienda Beer Co. I, you know what? Let me take out my right kind. Thank you, guys. Just I really enjoyed that that, things. that perfect description. You told me exactly what the beer is without any kind of crap. I'm My dad looks down upon English majors. No! Well, okay. <laughs> okay, maybe a little. Maybe I mean, little. only from the beer tastes good. Oh, it smells good, good though. Not Damn, good. this smells good. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm just saying. My description. Oh, you're, I think tasty beer. You're with yeah, if, it, if it tastes as good as it smells, we're in for a treat. Cause I, I don't like it when oh the word God, notes this is used. Good. Yeah, thank you, notes. Unless it's music. I mean, if it's music, talk about notes. If it's that you're on LSD, if you're if you're tasting notes, <laughs> this smells really good. It's a little, little hoppy. It's an IPA. Ooh. Mm. But they don't really say it. Oh, do you they? know what? I think it makes that. sense that it would be. But it's really, uh, I do like my IPAs, you know? I gotta I say. Oh, this is pretty solid so far. Damn it, what? I don't have my phone. I usually take a picture of where, uh, at work we have kind of this club, this group where we drink beer and just take pictures of what we're drinking. And then tell you a little bit about it. See, you missed all the great stuff that came after. Hey, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Hey, Trace. Welcome to the show. Hey, Tracy, your part came in. <laughs> I won't say what the park's for. Yeah, I was gonna say. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's this is a uh, it's a uh, it's a beer. They were right about the citrusy. I mean, like, it, it not hops citrusy. right off the top. It doesn't sit on your tongue long. Ah. You know, I gotta say, it's not <laughs> horrendously overhopped. No, in fact, it's no, not no, overhopped it at all. Does I, say it's a, it, I mean, it doesn't say it on here, but it's the hazy IPA. So. Oh, okay, it's a hazy IPA. All right. I'm um, I'm beginning to think that hazies might be a better type of IPA for people who oh. don't drink IPAs. Most of their uh, beers have just interesting names. Okay. Mm-hmm. One's just like, what could have been. <laughs> Cautiously optimistic. This is all we know. <laughs> <laughs> Very existential. I woke up that way. <laughs> Thank you. It just does weird things. So. <laughs> Floating features. <laughs> half of ice in. So it must have something. Maybe it's like, hey, there's stuff there's floating. There's stuff floating in my beer. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if floating features is a good name for a beer. Well, so, mm. is that like, if you, what's the one that they don't fil- filter? You know, Unfiltered beer. Um, yeah. All right. Yeah, or like a farm yeah. sale. Okay, um, um, real quick, we're going to break into, uh. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Ready? It's well, time for. Sure about that? How dare you speak to me? <laughs> All right, today is me. <laughs> That's another name for a beer. How dare you speak to me? <laughs> nice. I kind of like. I'm kind of liking the name. <laughs> of the beer. It's AI Janet. This is an AI generated meme. Yep. No uh, shit. That's pretty that's impressive. Pretty good. Actually, we're all replaced sooner or later. Yeah, I guess. Uh, it's, uh, I'm coming to the realization that artificial intelligence seems to come up with the dankest of memes. For the what the hell? That's insane, man. Stop. All right, so, uh, you know, there's no describing this one, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna read. <laughs> Are we, you know I, mean? I don't know, man. Frame one is, uh, is poo, and it says eating a chicken nugget, and then frame two is poo in a, in a lovely, a lovely suit, looking dapper, and it says eating. A you need a chicken nugget with a boner. That one's actually really good. <laughs> For AI, yeah, he's got a better, better smile too. He's got a way happier smile. You're talking about the bear poo, not a pile of. Uh, I am not talking about a pile of. Use your poo. imagination, people. I mean, it's yeah, the bear poo. I mean, Winnie the Pooh. Oh, now we're soon. Yep. 
when it first no, no, he's, uh, he's in public domain now. That's why they oh, made sweet. that slash so that's why he yeah. Well, okay, no, uh... Wait. Uh, the, it's it, the, like, the original yeah. who, not the, like... Not the, the Disney movie. Yeah. Right. But okay, and not, not, and not the yeah. emoji. The, the, not the poo like, emoji. the Tao poo, the, the original <laughs> one, is in public... So, it's like, it's a loose line of, like, Yeah, Disney's version of it is not because Disney has a lot of money and can... Change the change yeah, the uh, uh, yeah change the, the public domain laws. Yeah, you mean like with uh, Mickey? Yeah. Wait, are we allowed to say that? Yeah. Okay. You, well, I'm not gonna mention who it is. Disney has entered the you Mickey said, the Onion. You said rodent. Mickey, right? Uh, Mickey the Rodent. Yeah, yeah Mickey our the buddy rodent. Mickey. Yeah, that was Mickey rodent. Rodent. Dude, that's a pretty sweet mm-hmm. meme. I like yeah. that one. I'm happy with this one. You've delivered. You've Thank delivered you. today, yeah. Dallas. So um. How's Dallas doing? Yeah. <laughs> Not like that, eh? It must was just existing. What you drinking? That's what we always forget to ask. We should be Dallas asking. Well, Dallas, what are you drinking? Uh, I'm just uh, drinking some caffeinated right now. I'm just keep myself awake. Okay, oh. that works too. All right, well let's get back That's to this it. beer then. Um, yeah, we were on beer court. All right, so mm-hmm. I, I gotta say, it's I, and again, I'm not an IPA drinker. But it's a solid IPA. I mean, you say that, but you do drink a lot of IPAs. Well, not by choice. Well, maybe occasionally. Um, I do serve a lot of IPAs. You do serve so a lot of IPAs. Okay, fair yeah. enough. That's so, fair enough. That's Wait. a beer I personally really want to like, and I'm just not feeling. I don't know if it's not, not feeling not, right now. Or... I get it, because it's got the motor oil <clears throat> taste in it, which uh, a lot of IPAs uh, get. Just like the hop right at the start. Pour, like... pour it on your tongue, and it tastes like motor oil. I, I drink a lot of IPAs. Maybe that's why I detect it, but yeah. it tastes like motor oil. Like... Obviously, I haven't tasted motor oil, but no. when I smell motor oil, that's what it should be. Well, I mean, I might have at some point, I'm sure, but it's what I imagine motor oil should taste like. But it's not, um, I, it's not overdone, in no. my opinion. No, you know, it, what it says on the can is what it is. <clears throat> I'm enjoying the, the, yeah. the hazy is yeah. kind of getting me a little bit. Also, like, give whoever named your beers a raise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Can I give, like, that, that guy or they pal. might taste a little bit different than... So their 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 like statement is we focus on brewing modern experimental beers, everything from the crispiest pilsner to the juiciest double IPA to the most decadent pastry stout. Continually inspired by our surroundings, both in Door County and from our friends and fellow craft brewers across the country world. So all right, that's a little mission statement. I think someday people will be looking back on this time period and going, they just basically did all the beers. You probably should list. You probably should live during that. I agree on that. I, I think like, you're going to be going to your grandkids. Back what? in my day, we have 47,000 like IPAs. We, uh, we really did, though. We really do. That's the beauty of this. And his kids will be... Back in our day, we have 47,000 seltzers. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, it was before Zima cornered the marketplace and took over everything. That's right. That's for Larry, by the way. After, yeah, after, after, the, after the fast food wars, Z, oh, or, oh, sorry, Zima the, take over. The, yeah, yeah, after yeah. the beer wars, after the Zima, Zima, took, Zima over. took over. It's like, yeah, first there was Zima, and then there was like 25 years. Yeah. And then they decided to, you know, <laughs> it's, it's a seltzer now. Yeah. It's a, oh, was Zima the seltzer? Oh. It's a gin and tonic light. I mean, like, yeah, Larry grand, is right. Yeah, it's a gin and The Zima light. seltzer and yeah. have like three flavors and, I, I think but everyone's right. already used new names. They don't want it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it, I, all right. For, let's get let's get a party on. cooler. I'd probably grab this one. Yeah. Party cooler? Likely. Okay. If I you know if I was looking for an IPA in the party cooler, yeah, I'd grab it. I mean, I I'd, I'd see IPA, I'd grab it. I mean, I'm yeah, that, yeah, that, very that, that's an easy one. Yeah. All right. I'd want to see a beer that does weird things though. Mm-hmm. Just, <laughs> thank you. Just for the name alone, I would grab it out of the party cooler. All right. At the pub. Yeah, I'd get a tap of it. All right. I don't think so. All right. Um, again, not an IPA drinker? I might get a tap of it. I might. Rob? Yeah, yeah I think that's all right. I mean, it's an IPA. It's it's a good IPA. It's, so. it's, it does it deliver them if what you, they said they would. If you're not an IPA drinker, it's not going to convert you over. No. You know what I mean? No, it's not like, oh, my God, this is the best IPA I've ever had. Yeah, but it's a, it's a solid one. I may have just well, yeah, saw myself a little bit, but that's all other shit. Yeah. All right. Up and down boat. Ah, uh, three, two, one. Yep. Okay. Good. Yeah, that's good. I mean, that's, you know. It's a solid beer. I mean, 
And it just does weird things, right? I, I can understand it. Again, like I said, I, I detect this slight taste of overlap. That's weird. Yeah, there's something going wrong with it. Yeah, you. yeah. Well, if you start smelling toast, tell us. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, do, I can't have been having a stroke for like the past year. Oh, yes, you could. What world's longest, <laughs> the longest stroke? World's longest I've been stroke. having world's <laughs> longest. That's a great YouTube cover, by the way. We just. <laughs> I've been having world's longest, slowest throw. All right, Judge Rob, pass verdict on It Just Does Weird Things by our friends at Hacienda uh, Beer Company. All right, uh, today, today's verdict is dedicated to Tyler. On the charge of giving me the weirdest boner, <laughs> I find you guilty and sentence you to drinking. That's a Tyler. That's a Tyler thing. That's a Tyler, Tyler owns that. Mm. Now we have to turn the camera up for the next 20 minutes. Brian, yep. this says my no laws mind. while drinking claws. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Well, uh, oh. Hey, Brian. Hi, hey, Brian. Oh, shit. We got to get to today's game, don't we? Yeah, we've got drinking should. and gaming to do. Oh, shit. We've, we've delivered on two of the three things. That's right. That's a show. Says Larry's segments are even canceled, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Screw you, Larry. <laughs> I love Larry. That's why we I screw him. Mm. Anyway. All right, so hey, Rob. What are, are we playing drink, Rob? what are we playing today, Rob? All right, today we're taking a look at Centipede Recharged. Um, this, uh, last week we did uh, Black Widow, which is actually one of my favorites among the, uh, the Recharged. Uh, today, um, this one I like the gameplay, but I, ah, I'm not going to say it. I'll, I'll say it afterwards. All right, but, all right. But it is, it is probably... I put this in position, probably second from the bottom of them. I don't think it's a bad game though. I think it's fun really? to play, but it does. It, it has a power. Okay, well, I just call it the whole. I just want to see. This is because it's not a trackball game. And no, no, because I mean, there's a good chance you can plug in that Atari like, trackball and use it, or just a mouse. Supposedly, so I mean, all right. I mean, mouse games you can so, kind of get away with feeling like some a of the games. Yeah. Some of the games they have, uh, they have. Retroactively added mouse support to it. I'm not sure if this is one of them. All right. Like, right. I, like I said, they've been kind of building these after they they do it. They they'll do a release and then they'll listen to feedback and then add to it. It's it's why they've been getting good reviews for their games. It's yeah. Because they're actually listening to what people complain about. Um, but anyway, this is a remake of uh, the classic uh, Centipede, and it uses that vector style that they've been using in all their later games. So it's an interesting take on centipede, and it does have that same one. Which is interesting. One centipede was not. Vector. No, it was not. It the, all their new stuff is it's using a vector look. Okay. Right. So it doesn't I'm, matter whether it was or not. I'm almost okay. sure that their only platform for arcade now is a vector machine, and I think they're trying to push that eventually in the arcade. But anyway. Okay. We'll uh, we'll see if that's true. Anyway, uh, we're going to both do the arcade mode, uh, which is not correct. Uh, they now they now have made made three credit modes on a lot of their games right. as well. They haven't done it on this one yet, um, but we can. So if one death only, only, right? One death only. Yeah, I I'm actually okay with the hardcore nature of it. Yeah, it's a real score attack game, and that's fine. You know, it modernizes it. All right, so here we go. So, right uh, around the bat again, it does seem that they themed the games the same. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes there is so. a centipede. Very much so. And you shall but kill it. But in the background, theming looks pretty similar to, uh, uh, the, uh, not Web Wars, um. Yes. Uh, well, uh, uh Black Widow. Black yes. Widow. Black Widow. Black yeah, and all their games Where's are going to be Black like Widow this. Where's the Black Widow spider? No, I don't know. All right, yeah, here we go. We've got to take them down. Yeah, yeah. Looks the same. And they got the same, there's the, how long your power-ups going to last yeah. around the outside. Yeah, so. Yep, they, they, they are very outfits. similar. Although they do oh, shake things up every once in a while. Oh, I sort of love that power-up. Oh, right? Backs. The side ones, because oh. getting that last guy uh, with them. I always think of, I always used to think about that when I was a kid, you know, like, like when, so uh, get, like, I wish I had this ship in Space Invaders or whatever. Right. Well, now you get that chance, you know. There, if anything, these games are actually well thought out for the audience they're for. And, you know, you can run this, uh, you can get this on Steam. So the idea is this, the level doesn't seem to end. 
It will not it's end. It's just a score. You just score. Uh, but it will get amazingly hard. But like you said, it's a score of thumb. Alright, so don't shoot this guy while he's in the bottom. That's a bad mistake. Really? No. Wait till he's wait till he's a little higher. Alright. Wait, which guy? The one that's slow. This guy right here? Yeah, guy. just ignore him. It's oh, because he's, he's going up he'll, anyway. He'll leave a, yeah, he'll split and become shit. Yeah, right there. See that? That killed me. Alright. Oh. Alright. Right. I, I like how I demonstrate with one, my life. One, one button yeah, now. Right. Yeah, just shoot That'd up. Just shoot him up, man. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> What's kind of funny is I now associate that with um, uh, with Futurama instead of with the Three Stooges. Yeah, it's kind of, for it's me, kind of it's, hilarious. For so. me, it's Jabberjaw. Jabberjaw. Holy crap, so now I gotta go watch Jabberjaw. Yeah, Jabberjaw does the exact same thing. Yeah. No shit. I don't know. No shit. Check that out now. Oh my god. Yeah, for about three seconds I own the top high square. I was out of the I do think it's hilarious to go on Twitter. And call out all the Atari people that hey, I I got the high score. And then the birds. other seventy Atari owners go. Yeah, kick my ass. ass. Yeah, yeah, and then they, well, <laughs> no, no, the people who are actually using Atari. Zone, you were up earlier than me. <laughs> the, people who, the people who didn't turn it into media boxes. Yes, that's what that's what we're talking about. Yes. I like that part. Yeah, special. I don't nice. care, but those that have who got it for 150 bucks got a hell of a deal. You mean the 99 guys? Yeah. Yeah, like I good still deal look. This. You know, like, yeah, I know I keep like, waiting because I kind of want to buy another one too. That one I'm going to hack up though. Yeah, That'll be a pure lunch box. Right? This one's only slightly hacked. I haven't like taken Atari off of it entirely. Oh, I'm like, using the Atari store. Oh, like, uh, boot it up to something else. Like, yeah, you hit. This is my new gaming PC. You can take it out. I mean, they weren't. Um, they weren't kidding about it. They were. They wanted to make an open thing. They did hide it a little bit. Oh. But you can boot into any OS you want with it. Which it's so it's kind of weird if you if you're like a person that um, grew up on Atari, you think it's interesting to have Atari, and then maybe you want to experiment a little bit now with. Doing some other crap with you it, can. like maybe Ubuntu. This is something you can do, and you won't mess the console. Up. Unlike, uh, like if you do it with an Xbox or yeah. PlayStation, you can absolutely fuck those systems oh, yeah. up oh, yeah. and get locked out. But yeah, once you have a groove, it's fun. It's a great game. No, I told you. All right, I, I'm going to tell you now because we're looking at it, what I don't like. I, I don't like the centipede. Yeah, for well, whatever weird. reason, I don't like it. I agree with you. Yeah, <laughs> but that said, the gameplay is dead on. Clear out this it's a good set. It's a good centipede game. Wait, do you have like? Oh, it's crap. That it's is great. Whoa. Best oh, weapon oh, ever. Oh, that's that's a good run, though. That's yeah, a that's damn a good, good run. run. Solid run. I wonder if you made. Good job. Thank you for. You just put drop in first place. That's just lovely. That's just lovely. I appreciate that. I was just uh, right. No, but I appreciate that. Uh, yeah. Making me look way better. <laughs> I got you. Got and that 15 minute review I did. What, when the seventy comes down, it looks like a bunch of dudes like coming down and attack you. It, 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 it is a right, and I mentioned it. Yeah, yeah, it does. You know? That said, Atari didn't take any offense to it. They just kind of said, yeah. yeah. Can we, can we spend a moment? This is only tangentially related. Uh, Talk about that second human that I showed Jason does. Oh, yeah, we should mention that. We should mention that. So, um, yeah, we're mentioning Centipede. Go ahead. Yeah, so, uh, there's, there's a guy called RK Jason. RK Jason. If Jason. you're not following him, follow him for the little He does really, really cool work. Oh, my on, God. Like, designing PCBs for different functions, especially for old arcade games, uh, especially vector games, but in this case, he made a daughter board for Centipede that you stick onto your original Centipede game board. And you can change the sprites on the fly. So you can theme your centipede for a bunch of different, like, basically change, change the graphics. And, like, and there's a whole bunch of different fun settings. Um, and, like, Arcade Jason makes a lot of really cool arcade mods that do really, like, cool stuff like that. And they're usually very cheap. Yeah. He's you know, really, really great about making stuff for the community. Um, again, it, these are likely aren't in production right now. But he, like, he goes oh, and makes... I, I thought... 
Yeah, you know, he'll do like certain runs of stuff, uh, and he just makes really cool projects for old arcade games. Even if you're like don't have a machine, I would follow him just to watch some of the cool weird mm -hmm. stuff that he makes. The other thing is, um, Centipede is was so widely released; it was such a popular game. It's an yeah. easy machine to get. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah a, it's one of those machines. Yeah, machine. yeah, he sold the daughter board. He sold no. the daughter board for like forty bucks. Yeah. Right. I bought a Mel Me Vectrex multi-card. He did for like thirty. Like his, his, his price is basically cover his cost. cost. Yeah, and he does it for the community. Uh, and again, he makes really cool shit. So I would recommend just uh, again checking out some of his work. Uh, while we're while we're playing centipede again, good call. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah it's funny we posted that a while back on uh, uh, the Facebook mm -hmm. uh, site. Uh, that's www.facebook.com slash guys games and beer. I'm one gin and tonic away from not being able to speak. All right, so uh, we also have the challenge mode. All right, what's so the challenge and, mode? and challenge mode is much like uh, every one of these has a challenge mode mm -hmm. uh, where. Basically, they've got some goal to the gameplay. Ah. I I do not generally like this kind of thing, but the, I gotta say the uh, Atari ones have done it right, and I really really love the challenge mode. I I like playing them. This is probably my uh, I would say this is my least played, but only because uh, the remake of Missile Command was available on other platforms first, so I played it a lot more on the iPad than I did on uh, the VCS. But anyway, all right, so every time you'd have a little bit, uh, kill 40 Whoa. enemies with bomb, destroy 45 mushrooms, reach 5,000 score. So, uh, killing 20 sc scorpions. All right. I love it because I customize the game to each one of these levels. I uh, know if you do happen to have the new Atari VCS, they add uh, they add an extra ten of these for you. Oh. So yeah, that's worth fucking spending three hundred dollars, right? Oh, I that's love this upgrade. Yeah. Don't let it die though. Yeah. Focus. God damn it. There's another mirror there. Yeah, I know, but I gotta wait. Damn it. Don't hit that. Don't hit the spider. No, you have a spider. Well, well, shit. well, you don't want to run into him, I guess. Yeah. Right. Anyway. It's like, yeah, you pay attention right, so more get... to the spider, but... And that is the problem. I really so you really need that mirror the top. Right. You, well, it's but you kind of genius, the spider though. as you're moving around. Right, you're trying to avoid two. Oh, God damn it. Ah. Alright, ready? Come on. You're supposed to get the scorpions? Yeah. Yeah. But he can do it with the mirror. Easy, easy, but yes! But you had to avoid everything that Fuck lies yeah. down below. Right. Nailed it. Yeah. Well. Nice job. I'm pretty impressed with myself. All right, so now we're going to quit that one, and then we'll try another one. And uh, player's choice. Obviously. All right. If you want to do the latest one, that's fine. If you want to do something older, that's fine, too. I really like these challenge modes. They really add something to the game. Yeah, and, and generally, ah. generally speaking, I find that a lot of uh, oh. a, a lot of like arcade type games will add this kind of mode, and it really is meaningless. It's like you know, you're just no, trying to right jump right. over something, right, or just or or just whatever. They actually make it a meaningful mode. <laughs> Where things are set up, they actually specially designed the levels for this, which is a lot better than you get in a lot of these modern arcade games. Not, I, I mean modern arcade games that you get off a screen or something like that. On a club art. Remember that you can move up and down. All right, yeah, I got it. You can also ram into things. Running speed! Round speed! So I will say that I get some great enjoyment out of this. You know, it's... I, I can't. Um, it's, it's not the best of the arcades, in my opinion, but... It's pretty solid. It's actually... The gameplay's really fun. 
And yet again, they've done a good job. They, every time they've done a good job with this particular moment. So you got to kill 35, please. I always forget, the what's the secret to getting the please to come down? Nothing specific? Or? In this one, it's just dropping. Okay. Whoa, okay. holy shit. So you hit that back. Uh, that is significant. That was significant. Get him. Now you can hit him, not necessarily. Further back, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, not worth it. Yeah. The I can't wait on. for y'all to yeah. get down. This is it's good. Good. not uh, wait for you. Know what, you know what centipede looks like when he's coming down? Spot. That's not <laughs> like, the, like when he's coming down, the spot, uh, like, okay. whoa, cool damn. Spot, well, like, clear cool spot. Like, yeah. ooh, that's a cool one. Shield. A shield, yeah. Yeah. Made of bullets, I appreciate There you go. Sadly, the weapons are a little weak. There you go. Slow mo. Oh, you are approaching it. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. There's a bunch of things coming down now. Yeah, I didn't want to die in that fucking garage. Mm -hmm. No wise decision. It's tempting. Oh, there you go. Oof. You got kind of cheated there. Ah, oh. Oh, oh, shit. You are oh, so close. You are right so three. damn close. I got greedy. I got greedy. It was the, yeah. I want the power up. I do. That's a good one. So. Spider-Man. So, uh... Thoughts on the controller? I think it's really good. I, we've said um, this before. I think it works really well. It feels a little drifty. Yeah, like, just like a little like floaty. I don't know. Like, really? It, it, uh, it, it might would, be the game. Well, I mean, it could be the game. Yeah, but like, I just like in the original setup, it's like you can roll and stop. Pretty well, yeah, right, exactly. Yes. I found that. that, that, that well, I think what I they're think trying to do is recreate. Time, like, I think they're trying to recreate that floaty feel of it. I'll go roll. Um, yeah. I'm trying to remember. Um, it's definitely if, if, and again, like it first time touching the game. Like, it, it's harder, again, it feels harder to stop on a dime. I, I'm and almost sure they're trying course. to go for that yeah. kind of uh, inertia feel on it. Yeah. Oh, I gotta get 121 of these guys? <laughs> I really want to hook up the Atari, uh, the Atari trackball that they came up with. Yeah. yeah. So if I see it on, uh, if I see it on Amazon, I'm going to try it. I meant to get it, but never did. I wonder if a mouse is worth doing anything. Yeah, I can play on the mouse actually. Most games they allow mouse support for now, so. Ooh, man. Oh, man. So, uh, Call of Duty Atari will be coming out any time soon. <laughs> nope. So this is kind of a fun game to play. Oh, fuck. When I see any games come out, I see an Atari. It seemed like it was so easy. Now. I know you, you were. You were. I must have held it. Just been too close. Or to like, the, yeah, they, you had the circle. You had your shield on the outside, yeah. and then you popped in. All right, are we gonna take one more swing? Yeah, let's do no? one more swing. Right, I'm gonna yeah, do. We were so close on both of those. That's good great. job, Benson. Five seconds. All right, I'm gonna try. Again. Technically, that was one destroyed. So. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate your positive attitude on this. The 135th of the way there. There we go. That's always a big plus, man. We all that. All right, bitches. Come on. Give me some. Bring it, bitch. Can you get to the top and take yeah, it out? Yeah, I'm going to start those two, yeah. But we'll make it easier for the centipedes to come down faster. No, they don't get it. Yeah, they just run through it. Slow motion. Yeah, I see what you're talking about with the uh, merch on it. <laughs> yeah. Really, it, it's just not going to let me bad. That. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not game breaking. Again, it controls really well overall. Yeah, I think it's meant to it feel just like you're using a little different than, Yeah. And obviously, you're playing with the Ooh. controller. But.
How is that weapon acceptable? I just want to say. Why aren't you even trying to shoot? Yeah. I'm just Rob. using my shield to, to knock them out. So you can use those and say, use your bullets. And yeah, but I, I can like sit on the side of it and then never have to deal with them. Oh, the ghost scares them away. Oh, wow. I, I, realize, cool. I couldn't figure out what the ghost was doing. They all, like, zipped off in the... Explosion man. There we go. I like that. Mm -hmm. Anytime now, uh... Oh, uh. oh kid. Uh. Missed. Come on, you asses. You know what it's gonna do, right? Yeah, it's gonna speed up like right on my ass. <laughs> Never look at how many you got left. Yeah, don't look away from the screen around. Just keep shooting. <laughs> clear, clear. Get clear out of here. Spot too, so you know. has been kicked. You got 35 fleas, but what, what's the rest of the red hot chili peppers? <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. No Anthony Kiedis's and Chad Smith's. <laughs> Chad Smith's. <laughs> Chad Smith's. I saw you. Hey, whatever guitarist decides they want to be part of it. Oh. The band for it right now. Oh my god. No! <laughs> I mean, I kind of like that he yelled at that point. Whoa. Yeah, there's power upstairs, but there's a couple more there. Alright, so you gotta kill all the like enemies get rid of the bombs. Ones that... Wait, will those blow you up or no? No, but they will if I can get to I'm them. I'm gonna tell you what, I have always avoided them, so I don't know. You gotta grab the other power ups too to set my bombs. Yeah, there you go. Are you doing good? Oh, that's a pretty fun. Oh, yeah! Oh, oh you're you were so ripped off! Ah. You were so ripped off on that. Mm. When I say 40 enemies, it's always questionable. Is the whole centipede one enemy? Yeah, or, or depending on where you break, if you break them apart in pieces. Does the centipede even count as an enemy? That's a big question. Or is it your friend? Actually pretty good. All right, so you're all you're trying to survive. Yeah. For uh, two what minutes. two minutes? Yeah. That should be doable. Which after a few, you know, it's gonna be like an asshole at about. Which my issue was seconds, like, go right? get those four spiders and then get a nice fresh shield. Yeah. Yeah. The power up stay. The power stay on the field for a minute. So yeah. Just keep a nice fresh fresh supply here. And when I'm about to run out of them, there shield. must be something weird at like ninety seconds. Like, oh yeah, they start coming out right. Yeah, they do, they do escalate. So I am going to say that with with this particular series, they've kind of got the essence of Atari. I think so, yeah. What you, kind of, what you were kind of addicted to back in the day. Quick play, you know. Mm -hmm. you, uh, just, again, good mechanics. Yeah. Yep. I mean, obviously Atari was not always good mechanics, but it, Atari it kind of the company was pretty good. Right. I guess one of the things I think back now to Atari is a lot of the games they had on the original Ataris would say they had 32 games. That's yeah. probably like the original intention of stuff, stuff like these challenges. Like, let's, yeah, the game, if you play it a bunch of times, yeah. you'd probably run out of, I want to play this, but if you play different modes or... It's kind of sad that they don't do that anymore. You know what I mean? Like, make, like variations on the game. They right. basically make that into a sequel. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. Pong was a really good one. 
Yeah. And if you're tall, there was like so many varieties of pong to play. And you get bored with one, then it's on to the other 270 different versions of pong to play with. Nice job. Nice. Solid. Oh, I gotta play something? Yep. Oh, here for my piece. Oops. Friends. Oop. Ah! Oh, we're You're number 12 in the world. Yes! I think Travis got that one. Or else, wait, no, you did. Wait. Yeah, Travis got that yeah. one, I think. Sweet. Which one? Number 12 in the world. Look at me go. Okay, yeah. there. Spider Invasion. You do. Oh, okay. This, uh, like the next this one looks good. Let's reach 10,000. Oh. oh shit. You work that. Damn. That weapon ah. annoys the shit out of me. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too enamored with that. But you know what? Every game has to have the shit weapon. Yeah, that you pick up. yeah. So. Although I bet if you oh, got, I, I bet saying, if you got that seventy go while it was again. rolling down, I thought it was low enough. I bet it'd be a nine. good shot. Yeah, for it. That's an interesting level. See, if you would have straight up shot that centipede, you'd have been killing him. I do like the rail gun. I mean, it, it's annoying though. In its own way, yes. I, I Whoa! Really, Whoa. Oh, damn! damn. Nice Narrow escape. Hey, don't think you can try that again. again. Yeah, I think what you're supposed to do is go down that center and railgun the shit out of them. So time the railgun to the center. Yep. Like when they come down, I think you're supposed to railgun them. See? Oh, yeah, oh, that's. Oh, shit! <laughs> Woo! Damn! To be honest, I kind of like this game better than the first time I played it. You know, you know, you have interesting challenges that use the weapons well. I think that's cool. That's the challenges are almost better than the. I other I, game I, I, I want to agree with you on that. I like the challenges. I really than do than like the, the actual game. There, there's a goal to it. It's got, mm -hmm. you know. The challenges are really fun, and that's what I usually hate on other games. Yeah, no, these challenges are really good. I have no idea where my score is. Where my like anywhere? Just keep going. You're doing fine. Don't look for it. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Came from the giver. Wipe that sucker out with your real gun. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that was badass. Wait, so I have the real gun and the You, you can get both, yeah. Nice. Nice job. There you go. There you go. Right, nice so job. There we go. All right. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. So uh, let's kind of... Go back over this one. Uh, all right, so um, um oh, that might run playing. No, again. no, no, I'm not gonna. I'm hey, gonna... it's drifting. See the drift? Quite, drifting. It's quite possible. So what? Uh, I How to get you? <gasps> Fifth in the world. Yeah. Nice job. Number five in the world for today. Yeah. Hey, wait. I wonder if I know some of these people. Wait. <laughs> I mean, your chances of knowing like somebody on the leaderboard if they friended you is pretty fucking high. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, to to be fair, to be fair with all the shit that that YouTubers talked about the Atari VCS, I gotta tell you, if any company has ever stuck to some shit, it has been Atari because, I mean, the, this was called Super Seven. What are the? I mean, who else would have put up with this? Yeah, yeah. Next. Then you got like ten people on your leaderboard and. <laughs> Like, fuck that! I'm riding this shit to the end. Damn straight. No, so, uh, very good though. It 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 it, it really. I again, I I gotta agree. I like the challenges better than I like the actual game. Yeah, they can talk shit, but you know, Atari uh, Atari delivered. Yeah, they really did. In the end, like I said, if I see one, it, I'm it wasn't. Out. Um, it it isn't like um, it isn't. Here, it never was gonna be the the. The Xbox defeater. Yeah, yeah, defeater. no. It was no. always going to be like a, a boutique kind of game system. But I think they've been very successful at being a boutique game system, uh, despite. It, it, I, I think I've had this discussion before that there is a certain, there is a certain culture of YouTube that really loves to just hate on anything. 
Yeah. And, and we've had this problem with um, um with us. No, we everybody loves us. Everybody loves us for unknown reasons. But oh. Never had any problems. Mainly our with feet. YouTube, but but yeah, mainly our feet. Yes. <laughs> Mostly our feet. But it it it's one of those things where there is a thing when anybody comes up with a device, you gotta come up with a reason why it's gonna be horrible. And that's if it's a smaller device and you don't have enough money to counter it by paying off a bunch right. of YouTubers, you don't win. Yeah. You know, and that's Oops. it's kind of sad that we're at that point. Stuff. I know. Where I it's know. how many YouTubers you can get to be on your side or can give enough free shit. I, it, it's definitely not a perfect system, and it's not everybody's system, but you shouldn't be giving this shit to 20 year olds. This is more of an older person system. And it, it, it absolutely succeeds. It at delivers. Being a, uh, it absolutely succeeds at being a. Uh, a game, a uh, game system that's great for people who like a very <laughs> my kind of gaming. Yeah, go in, play for a few minutes, go yeah. out and do something else. I am yeah, sorry. and the system works great for that. Yeah. You know, if you've got money to throw at it, go ahead. Right. I mean, if you enjoy, if you enjoy what you're seeing, you know, go ahead. We've talked about this. I like a game where I can sit down, play for five minutes, go off and do something else. Oh, people wonder why I play so much like Split Day and uh, Halo. Uh, um, uh, not Reach. Halo. Uh, the new yeah. one. Yeah. Whatever. Infinite. But infinite, infinite, thank you. Because I can go in, play one round, and leave. I try to get in, in with you on Splitgate on my uh, on my uh, Steam Deck, but it was having some fucked up problems. Mm. I have to figure out what's going on with that. It, it's really weird because I've only had two problems with the Steam Deck, and that's one that of the games. That surprises me. But it, it is it's Steam Deck approved, so it's possibly something with the fact that I already had used it mm. in another system. Okay. And it might have some settings that have really fucked it up. I've got I've got an RTX based system and that really can if, if you've got those settings, RTX really pisses okay. off other systems. Right. So it's possible it's something like that. We'll see. I was trying to sneak in on you. Oh uh, good. Do, please do, man. The split gate's good. Alright, so uh, anyway let's wrap this mess up, Rob. So if you like a catered experience and you know maybe you're maybe you're somebody who's just kinda sick of like Dude, I got like 2,000 fucking games on Steam that I don't play. I know, I, I know. I enjoy it. It's nice to have a catered experience. I kind of miss the day when you were looking for this new, for a new game to come out. Okay, so, it was classic exciting example, when it happened. It, Lily Rob checked for Yars Revenge because he's waiting for it to drop. Yeah. That is I care. Kind of a, nice, a nice thing. Whereas Steam is like, oh, they got like a uh, hundred new games Sick. today. Yeah, fuck them. You know? I've noticed that with a lot of systems. Yeah. Mm hmm? The initial releases and everything, you kind of get more excited about. I once, think, I mean, once you see, like, I can't follow what's going on. I, I think Evercade is successful lose. because of that. They, because they you're, don't very, you're really I'm wondering excited what's going to come out. That come out. Like, yeah. Like, the, the four I'm going to get in the mail. <laughs> I only have one more that I can pre order, by the way. <laughs> is, is gonna sh they're going to be here this week, and, and you know, i got to wait till whatever. I always so September, excited. September, October, November. Whatever they're going to release the, the new version. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, See, but, that, but, but that's I'll have like six cartridges ready to go. Like, I'm yeah, that is the beauty of a curated it. system. It is that kind of. Yeah, it, it is exciting. And whenever you find a deal you want to tell your friends about, it. yeah, <laughs> I, I message Ryan. Yeah, Holy fine, shit, you got it for ten bucks. Oh, and then the place to order for I feel kind of like an asshole because I, I, I paid twenty. I have like uh, a twenty dollar credit. Whoa, so also took awesome! Another twenty bucks off the the purchase. I didn't even realize I had a twenty dollar credit. I I do love the Evercade. I yeah. think it's a great system. I think it's you know, I not to. Steal Atari Thunder in this, but but it is a great system. And I, I like these kind of catered systems. These things yeah. that are for maybe not like every audience, but they're for a a catered audience. Yeah, and I really like that idea. There's a room for this kind of thing, and I I guess I kind of it's hate... the difference between a buffet and fine dining. Yeah, I, I I really hate that there isn't a room like with most YouTubers and most reviewers. For something that is a catered experience like this, where you've got something that's a little bit different, but it caters to your kind of gaming. I like that. I'm, you know, I'm, there's nothing wrong with that. It, you don't have to do it. You know, it, everybody is so obsessed with it being the number one game system. Yeah. Companies like GPD have been around for for half a decade now. Yeah. They've never had a system that most gamers have heard of, but they've been successful and they made money, and that's fine. It, it can be lucrative to not sell to a huge audience. So, yeah, that's. I don't know if Atari's making any money on this. Stuff. No, They're but making off of tennis shoes. But yeah, still, very I, cool though. By the way, I'm totally getting some tennis shoes. But anyway, 
Okay, so hey, Rob, why don't you take us out of this mess? We made it out of this. Anyway, uh... Hey, wait, wait, before you take us out of this, where are we going to be next weekend, Rob? Oh, yeah. Wait. Yeah, Not oh, yeah, weekend. it's, it's already next weekend. It's already yeah. next weekend. All right, so... Yeah. Not this coming weekend, the yeah. weekend Coming after. up, we're going to be at Man With Power. Yep. Um, I'm going to be there Saturday. Mm. I wanted to be there Friday, but I'm going well, to fuck Will, that up. Well, I'll be there... Everybody will be there for the weekend. weekend. yeah. Now there's more stuff to post. Dude, you really just want to keep giving me... So, <laughs> the, uh, I mean, you know, if you got tickets, great. If not, I, I'm I, so If sorry. you got tickets, we are bringing so much cool stuff this time. Guys, oh, you talk about up in our game... Travis and Ryan have got some stuff going on. That I, I'm actually you, excited. Wait till you see with these two guys. Yeah, oh, shh, don't tell. Okay, good. Uh, what? You're going to keep that a secret? You're going to say, eh, I, I went there. I didn't go upstairs because I didn't hear anything. No, good point. Hell yes, so you want to. What is Ryan said. bringing? What is Ryan bringing? Brian, Ryan's bringing Ryan. his. Say Ryan, too. Ryan's bringing his, his syphilis. He might be bringing that, well, too. Well, that I can't fuck in. <laughs> I mean, you can't. Well, you can. Depends oh. on who's there. Um, I so, like that there was a con- there, the ding, <laughs> ding for that. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ryan, what are you bringing, Ryan? Uh, we have the Quake Land that was uh, generously donated, donated to Packrat. us by Packrat Games and gets a lot of love at MGC. Oh, right. hell yeah. So and, yeah. and it's just Quake. But who doesn't like to play Quake against other people? It's It, it just plays well, so it, it's one of the yeah. It's one of the best arena shooters. And run them on Mac. Yeah, oh, right. yeah, I'm back in time. Why not? I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> why do it? Why the hell is that? They came from the underdog chamber, and we were showing. We they were the showing the gaming was possible. Oh, 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 please note that we are renting turtlenecks for those of you who want to play it authentically. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Travis, what are you bringing? Uh, we are also bringing a cursed Halo land. Hell yeah! Uh, not just any regular. This ain't your grandfather's Halo. I cannot Halo. wait. For this this is your grandfather's This Halo. is uh, this is the original. This is the original. Halo Combat Evolves for the PC, uh, but everything is cursed as shit. So, so I, I forget the gentleman's name. Completely recoded all the weapons in it, and they're, oh my effing god, it's brilliant. They're hilarious. Yeah, yeah they're fun. They're hilarious. Yeah, it's done by Inferno Plus. Like, Inferno Plus. Yeah. yeah. So, so he literally recoded a, all the weaponry. There's, there's a stretch the warthog. Skin. There's the tiny warthog. The warthoglet. You know, little. There's a, a magical girl gun that shoots hearts. There's uh, the shotgun's been replaced by a blunderbuss. The floppy uh, sniper There's rifle. The, the flop. The yeah. The uh, yeah. Uh, that only the zooms zapper. at one X. The NES zapper. I have not. By the way, I've not tried this game yet, and I, oh. I, I, I looked up That's, on it uh, when you mentioned it like yeah. a couple weeks ago, and I we so ran excited. it at Netfest last yeah, year, so and it was just a laugh games. riot. Yeah. It was just absolute chaos. Was I smash it? Netfest? You might have been. You might have been. I don't remember. Yeah, I was, I was like, I ran it a few times. I was, ta- I was talking to Brian, not Ryan, but Brian. <laughs> I ran it a few times. And it was fun. But, yeah, uh, but yeah. So, but yeah, it's, it's Halo. But all the weapons and vehicles are incredibly cursed. And, yeah, uh, it's freaking brilliant. Yeah. So the second you think you have a leg up on someone, you grab the wrong weapon. And you're, you're <laughs> yeah, the rocket launcher shoots backwards. Yeah, yeah, um, exactly. The one that, yes, yeah, the weapon that shoots you. Right. I am so excited about this that so, I just cannot. Wait. Yeah, the pistol's hey. a throwing pistol. So yeah, yeah if you just put, if you pull the trigger, it, it shoots just shoots you. you in the face. Ah. Uh, but you can throw it at people, so you can like you it'll, literally like, fire have to up. hit people with you the, have to, like, your And this is the most metal thing I think you can do with Halo. I agree. I agree. So, but uh, so excited. lots of cool stuff. There's also some classics coming up there. Um, uh, Trakita is Trakita is probably gonna be there. I know. We have Trakita is Prime. It's in pieces right now, but it will Rob, be a Rob's got time. some work to do this week. Yeah. Um, I really screwed myself up. I was so excited after MGC. I was like, yeah, I'm going to get this bitch together. And then I April like, or May. I started like April. sanding it down and getting it ready and then just like kind of saw But it'll be ready. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, we'll be having candy heavy caps. Oh, oh the candy. No, no. Hold on. Yeah. All the right. candy cabs we got to talk about. Uh, number one, I think candy cabs are the sexiest goddamn arcade. Yeah, I'm going to agree with you on it that. It is a very... It, I no longer have any uh, cabs, but I'm considering getting a cab. Yeah, if anybody wants to do a group buy, we can drive them up. Yeah, we're talking we're talking about doing a group buy and bringing some back. So. And that means you guys out there in uh, YouTube and Facebook land. Yeah. Uh, feel so, free to contact us uh, at... Uh, uh, just do Rob at guysgamesandbeer.net, although uh, a lot of them works now. I broke a lot of them when we switched over to 365 for our... Uh, no provider. For our yeah. provider, but I know that Skyboy TV works. Good, know? good. So, but again, Trump so... Larry? Does that work? Joe Clary does work. Yeah. yeah. 
So, uh, so the, the candy cans are back, and Travis has got a really cool new one. It's a, a Chinese copy of the... Um, Nam Universe. Should I get that one? Is that the one I should be looking for? Uh, well, it depends on what games we're going to play. We can I talk actually, after the show. We can, we can talk, we'll talk about after the show. We can talk for hours about candy cans, but... So, yeah. so there's going to be a, to play, right? we're, we're bringing the candy cat back, including a new one this year. There's just a lot of cool stuff. Because I can so, put it right in here, right? If you got tickets from Mammoth Power, good on you. I think there's a raffle going on, because Ty, I think we're raffling off two tickets. I, mean, I don't know if it's still open or not. Um, I do know that I was talking to a person who's coming, and uh, he uh, he said there were like five tickets left. Yeah, uh, so Noble Knight Games, on uh, if you look at Mammoth Power Fest on Facebook... Noble Knight Games are doing a raffle for two um, for two tickets, right? Yeah, but uh, unfortunately, you have to enter in store. Okay, so right. that's out. Noble Knights in Madison, Wisconsin. Out of Fitchburg, Wisconsin. Fitchburg, so uh, Madison, something. Yep. But um, yeah, so uh, if you're interested in tickets, it might be worth the drive. Uh, this is gonna be the last year where you can say I was here at the uh, the, the high noon. The the be yeah. This yeah, the, is the last year. Show, yeah. yeah, I was here at the nucleus of this show. Yeah. Uh, because next year it's gonna be a. So much bigger. Right? Yeah, it's gonna be insane. Like, there's there's big stuff we're, coming for this show. Yeah, guys. I mean, th this year we we are gonna have an awesome showing. We're gonna be taking up like the second floor, but but the following year, it's gonna be MGC level shit. Yeah, I mean, I, like we're gonna really kick some ass. That said, I, I'm I'm just there for the halo. I mean, <laughs> I'm just there for the halo. I'm I mean, I'm bringing my halo. shit. Yeah, but yeah, I, I'll do Pokemon's Prime. A there's music too. Don't forget. To... Yep. Okay. So, uh, anything else? No. No. I. There's some amazing stuff coming up in the Paquito world. Yeah. Right yeah. We'll, and uh, we'll show some of it. Yep. In the in the near future. But uh, other than that, I, I want to thank you guys very much for watching Guys Games and Beer. You can check us out at www.guysgamesandbeer.net. Uh, note that the main part of the site isn't necessarily up to date. However, however. We do have active content there that shows almost everything that's going on, guys, games, and beer. And, of course, our good friends over at Lionheart Racing. Lionheart Racing, all the joys of racing without the rubber hot dogs. Uh, you can check them out top right-hand corner of the screen. If you're a big fan of Discord, you can join us over on Discord. We're there pretty regularly. Yeah. Uh, there's comments throughout the week. Stuff going on. Free giveaways. I gave away a couple games last week. Oh, nice. Ah! <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, so, so, Tom was thinking about giving away games across platform last week. Yes. Week, but uh, I ended up doing the Discord part of it. Good. We kick some ass, so you can get free games on Discord. Uh, I usually do about two or three. Tom usually does like ten. Uh, Tom's I'll, fucking I can, insane. I just have so many keys to give away. Um, so yeah. I am so sick of going through like my old Tumble uh, Indie bundles. About, man. Yeah. I cannot believe that I can still get shit from Tumble Indie bundles ten years ago. Hey. I mean, or all right, five years ago, but still. I'm down to the last three years. I'm down to the last three years, people. But we're posting great games. Uh, none of them from the Ukraine bubble, because I want them to get every cent. Dang straight. Damn right. All right. All right. We'll see you guys. We'll see you guys next Tuesday, and we will hopefully see you next week, the following weekend at Mad with Power, because uh, it's a fun time. It's great. As day always, www.youtube.com slash guys games and beer. www.facebook.com slash guys guys games and beer. Guys guys games and beer. Points. Guys games and beer. And uh, it's gonna be great at Mad with Power. Pretty exciting. All right. Later on, Bye, guys. Bye. Later. Boop.